Welcome to free CAD new session. In this session we will learn drawing with tech draw workbench. So here is a model and we will do the drawing with respect to the reference drawing. So here I have activated my tech draw workbench. Now I will set my model to the top positions as per our reference drawing. Then I will click on the insert default page and then I select my body and click on the projection group so here I have a option of a first and third angle so I will select for the third angle and I do not want any side view because the remaining views are the sections view so I will say ok I will move to the page so on the page view has been inserted but as per our setting in a tech draw our default scale is a 1 raise to 1 therefore our place view scale is a 1 so we can change it so for this go to the page and click on the scale and I will set my scale to the 4 times so after the entering the scale value it is not updating so click on here refresh so my model got updated here now I will give the dimensioning as per our reference drawing now I will select the vertex points I will select this line and this line and I will give the dimensions 25 then I will select this this edge and this edge now we will define this whole position so I will select this edge and our center center mark and this edge to the center mark now we will move this dimension 3 to the outside to look better and now I will define the whole position center to center is a 9 so I will select this center and this center and I will give the 9 mm then the whole position is a 3 and 3 mm so I will select this center marks and this edge same way this edge and this center marks and center to center hole distance is 19 so I will select this center and this center and this slot is a 16 so first I will give this center to center so this is 8 mm and now I will give this radius so I will click on here insert radius dimension so this is 4 and this side radius is also 4 so 8 4 and 4 it is 16 so it has been achieved here now this diameter is 4 so I will select on this one and I will click on the diameter tool and this one is R15 so I will select this arc and I will give R1.5 ok this is 
now I will move my dimension to the outside now we will define this diameter click on the circle and define the diameter which is 3 now we will define this radius R1 select on the radius and give the value which is R1 now we will define this slot position from the edge so we will select this edge and this one which is 3.5 now we will check whether we have shown all the dimensions in our top view so we have given this 25, this 3, this 3, this overall uh, width 15, 19, 3, this 3.5, this radius 1.5, diameter 4, position 9 and 3 and this diameter 3. So this, this hole is at uh, 4 positions. So we will click on this diameter. and we will define its quantity like we can put the bracket and say 4x so we will go to the format specification after selecting the dimensions and I have a manually in entered here 4x which means that this diameter 3 hole is at the 4 locations same way we can go to the radius and we will go to the format specifications and we will mention here 4x so that this all four radius are the same we have achieved all dimensions in a top view now we will insert the sections view so how to take the section view in FreeCAD we will see we will take the two sections one is a horizontal other one is a vertical to insert the section view select on the view and then click on here insert section view so insert section view you will get the options so I will select these options so the section view has been inserted and I will say OK now this is the sections view so instead of placing at the top I will place it at the side now here is a vertex point is looking too big so I will go to the edit then go to the preferences and select on the tech draw and vertex scale I will set to the 2 so now you can see that vertex point has been reduced here now we will give the dimension of the sections view so this one is a diameter 5 so this is the five dimensions but it is a diameter so I will select on this dimension and click here to insert the prefix so it is diameter 5 same way inside one is a diameter 3 so I will give the dimension first and then and then I will click on insert prefix diameter so it is 3 now we will give this dimension 1.5 so I will select the line
now this dimensions 3 so I will select this this line and this line now this diameter 5 so I will select this and this and I will give the diameter dimensions by entering the prefix now I will define the depth which is 3 mm so this is how we have achieved all the dimension in section AA now we will select our view and click on the insert the section view and I will select these options and identifier I will give B and I will say OK so here is a section has been inserted now we will give our dimensions so this is 4.5 so I will move my dimensions to little bit upper side and this depth is 3 So I will select this edge, this edge, set the dimensions 3 and overall is the 6 mm. So I will click on this 2 edge and I will give dimension 6. So I have a selected the third angle projection that's why I get this view but dimension you will get the same either you select the first angle or third angle. So now here we have achieved all the dimensions as per our reference drawing and we have a beautiful drawing in a free CAD. Now we will insert the other details in a title block. So let's see how we can insert it. So first one is the title. So here on the title if I double click I will get a pop up window and here I can enter the value. So this is the gear pump body. So I will insert here gear pump body. Gear pump body and I will say OK. So this is the title any subtitles if you are not to give you can give here for example for subtitle I can give for for assembly x axis so this gear pump is for assembly this one this is a subtitle design by you can put the name for example here I can put the XXX designed by X person same way date so you can see that uh, the value I change is immediately get reflected on our drawing scale scale is our four times so you will say four raised to one weight of the part we can see the model and put something so for example here I put the 2 kg drawing number I can assign some drawing number so you can also assign the drawing number so this is how to fill up the title block data of the drawing now we will see some other 
tools in a free CAD drawings now here on a free CAD drawings we can easily export it to the PDF and DXF so to export as a PDF file we can easily export our drawing into the PDF so for export in PDF select on the page go to the files and click on the export button so once you click on the export expand it and you will see here portable document format so this in this way you can export your drawing into the PDF so I will export this as a PDF and I will show you so here is our drawing exported in a PDF and now we will see other exporting option with the help of this icon we can export our file as a SVG and with the help of this icon DXF we can export our drawing as a DXF file if it is a sheet metal part then we can creates his DXF very easily in FreeCAD. So this is all about these sessions to do technical drawing with help of a TechDraw workbench. Thank you for watching.